about young people telling their stories about their lives, about the neighborhoods they live in. It's about partnership and working for a society where children have their place. Nationally, being able to represent the diversity in, in governance structures and how young people are, are affecting change within their local communities living in the city. Listening to young people's voices and sharing those voices and those stories so that we can create uh, better communities for children and youth based on what children and youth think. It works to include youth in municipal processes, which I think is something that's really needed in Canadian cities. I've become stronger in being able to talk to like um, at meetings or whatever, so it's helped me out with a lot of things to be at. Being able to explore different areas and meet a lot of different people from different organizations and stuff, so it's been really awesome. It brings attention to youth in cities. It brings attention to their, their world and how they see that world. And it allows them to feel and to show that they can influence a system for change. Growing up in cities, what we try to do is to help them to look critically at their neighborhoods and beyond maybe what they might see as the superficial issues to some of the factors that maybe not, may not be so evident on a daily basis that are creating the conditions that, um, that they have issues with. It's a lot about process, it's about being strategic, about where we can find our alliances. Being able to, to go out there and talk with young kids, you know, and, and have, a, have them, you know, be provided a, a, an outlet um, for some of their voices. Um, I work at a magazine that, that helps to, to, to do that. I think very importantly it's a research project in that it uh, builds on young people's knowledge about the local area and then challenges them to um, investigate further uh, issues that they identify and, and to come up with plans of action that are based on um, information that they can substantiate. The thing that struck me across all the sites where we've worked from North America to South Asia is um, how rare it is for young people to have the experience of an adult really listening to what they're saying. It's actually quite frightening how rare it is. Uh, so I think uh, if you don't have that experience of an adult really listening to what you're saying and responding to, you will participation becomes rather meaningless. You know, the idea of governments and like you know and institutions actually interesting them like you know being interested in what young people's perceptions of their environments are like that's a very innovative thing, at least for me. Most of the time they think that they know what we want, but most of the time they don't. I think it's important that youth be involved with local governance because local government can't choose what is right for youth. Um, youth have to be involved in decision making for themselves. They're the experts in, uh, in what they need. So if they, uh, for example, they say they, they need uh, a skate park, they're the best ones to design a place like this, or they're the, they're the best ones to tell uh, the people the best way to uh, inject the money. have a lot to offer from the perspective of thinking of things outside of the box. They haven't been involved yet in this sort of process and they're not kind of stymied in this is the way we do things. So they're always ready and prepared to offer a different view and they bring different energy. Young people have you know, lots of ideas of their own that can go a long, long way and that, you know, adults need to get attention to. People who are older get into a rut sometimes. And even if you're a creative thinker, when you have a diversity of age groups, you, you're looking at things from a different perspective. 
I think that without doing it, we're, we're losing such opportunity. Obviously, you have a stake in uh, today and tomorrow. It's really not about tomorrow, it's about today. And uh, certainly uh, want to give them the opportunity to do so. Everyone that lives in a community should be involved in local governance because it affects them. And I think the problem in the past has been that young people haven't been shown how they can get involved and haven't been told what actually impacts their lives. And that's a hard way to start thinking if, if, you're, if you're never shown the doors are there. Uh, so you have to make sure that you uh, provide uh, other training in how cities work to youth so they know what the system is. If they don't get to know the system, they can't change the system. I think for youth involvement, um, a good starting block is something that you're passionate about, be it skateboarding, community gardens, or greater policy change. Um, a great way where youth can start is, is affecting something that, uh, that's meaningful to them and that impacts their life on a daily basis. Young people have made a difference in their local area. They've uh, worked to clean up the area, uh, they've worked to redesign parks, they've worked to take over and um, sort of reprogram, rethink uh, vacant properties, they've created safe pathways, they've, they've made videos to broadcast their stories to a larger audience and put the pressure on the government to deliver promises, they've initiated planning projects, given input to larger planning projects, created partnerships with the local police to address police harassment issues with youth. There's tremendous young people out there that are in Vancouver that are getting to different policy tables right now. In a way we stood up because now we have the police board meetings and like talking and like let them be aware of the issues that we're going through and that what we're dealing with and like kind of try to put a stop to it. I think what has been most remarkable is the value of community support in municipalities. Um, for example, in Shelburne, the youth growing up in Shelburne, we're trying to fundraise and, uh, for the purpose of building a skate park, but where they actually made headway was when they began to involve the community. We went out and improved our public image by doing, by doing like good things, by doing the skate for food drive and all that stuff. We were kind of just like, ah, oh, skateboarders, you know, like they're going to go break stuff and wax curbs and make old ladies fall down. Now it's not so bad. I think that is one of the big um, uh, opportunities that growing up in cities gives us. Um, we as organizations, as cities, we all need to learn how research can be done by all of us, by young people, by academics, by uh, youth organizations, and um, that's how we can bring change in quicker ways. We can use that research and have a creative loop to bring about change in ways that really meet young people's needs. Because so often we don't involve young people in the decisions that affect their lives. Um, the quick program is, is amazing. It's set up um, to, to facilitate that type of dialogue and work.